All right, guys, today I want to show you why you should not allow your fruit tree or your mango tree specifically to fruit, I say, for the first three years. Take a look at this tree. Right, let's go down right here. This is my first mango tree that I ever planted. You can see it's not that big. It's honestly the best tasting mango that I've ever grown, but it's not that big. Why is it not that big? Because this being my first mango tree that I ever planted I wanted mangoes from day one so every year since I've planted this thing since it was a little teeny tiny tree a lot smaller than this I have let it fruit and I've eaten the fruit and it's been awesome but it has severely stunted its growth and in a minute I'm gonna show you another tree that I have not allowed to fruit that is one and a half or two years younger but it's a lot bigger so there's a huge difference I know you plant a mango tree because you love mangoes and you want mangoes but don't allow them to fruit so let's come over here you can see these fruit here this is so hard to do but you got to take them off you got to get them off of here now i don't like to just remove the the flower panels the the flower shoots that it sends out as soon as it sends them out because if you remove them all it's going to do is it's going to grow more and try and fruit again so i like to wait until they're like this size about dime size and then I remove all of them come over here I'm gonna remove them um, there's a few over here gonna remove them so as hard as it is you got to remove it let's go into my front yard I'm gonna show you one where I've removed the fruit every year for three years and we'll see how much bigger and nicer looking it is Okay, check it out. So this one is in my front yard. Like I said, it is a year and a half to two years younger than that other tree. But look how much bigger it is. Look how much fuller it is. And it seems a lot healthier. And that is because every single year from the time I've planted it, I have not allowed it to fruit. But I think this year, because it's been in the ground three years, these bad boys right here, I'm gonna allow it to fruit. And it's gonna be awesome. This is a coconut cream mango. Supposedly tastes really good. I've never had the variety, but I'm super excited. So you can see the difference between the two trees. That is why you cannot do it, even though you want to, even though you love mangoes as much as I do, be patient and it will pay off because you'll have a much bigger, better, healthier tree that in the long run gives you a lot more mangoes.